Hello, my name is Erin Franklin, and today I will be talking about being quiet, because I'm a quiet person. I love being alone, and I would do this speech alone if I could. I just believe that everything is better when it's just me, myself, and I. And as Beyonce said, that's all you've got in the end. When I'm alone, I don't have to worry about sharing food, listening to music I don't like, or talking about things I don't care about. My love of solidarity mainly stems from my inability to learn how to share growing up. I guess I still never figured that out. Um, growing up, I, own, I preferred to play with my own toys by myself. It's not like I didn't like the other kids. I just preferred being alone. This made it very hard for me to branch out and make new friends. But I realized growing up that even if I did share all of my toys, no one would appreciate them all as much as I had. And as I grew up even more, I realized that the same applied to my thoughts. It makes no sense for me to share every single thought that passes through my mind when people only care about the ones that flatter or agree with them. And I rarely have anything that, to say that agrees with most people. <laughs> and as Thumper said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. There are many misconceptions about quiet, or sh quiet people or introverts that I'd like to clear up. I'm not afraid of people, although I am alone a considerable amount of time. I am not, it's not because I'm fearful of other people. It's just for the sake of sanity and well-being, I need a few precious moments of alone time. I don't uh, hate talking. It's not entirely true that introverts are hate to talk. It's just that I grew up very self-aware of my thoughts and the words that came out of my mouth. And at a young age, I was able to grasp that it is okay to be alone sometimes. And that by being alone, I can learn more about myself and from others. And this helps me help me connect with people. And um, Um, I am not unemotional or disinterested, even though my face looks like this 90% of the time. <laughs> I'm actually very active and engaged in all things going around me. I'm part of many activities such as cheer, musical theater, uh, choir, and I'm currently a debutante at the Concord Church. I love adventure and I do have fun. <laughs> I love to travel and do adventurous things and eat new foods. Just recently, I went to Hawaii with my family where I ziplined over a thousand feet over a rainforest, jet skied, ziplined, and biked on a hill. <laughs> Although being alone or being at home would be most ideal, I do like to go out and have adventures. Another misconception is that introverts just want to be left alone, which is not entirely true. I know how much I emphasized at the beginning how much I love to be alone, but I am a human being, and which means I do crave human contact from time to time. Um, I have friends who I hang out with, and I'm a part of various communities. A home is a place where an introvert feels most comfortable. I have made a home at the Oak Ridge School. Being here for 15 years has transformed Oak Ridge from, not, from o not only a school, but also a home. It is astonishing to believe how much I've grown these past years. And I have had no negative, being an introvert has had no negative effect on my social life or behavior. I'm just designed as a quiet and shy person, and I would like to thank my peers my family, friends, and teachers for accepting me and understanding me for who I am. Thank you.